Hi everyone, welcome to this week's vlog. It's Wednesday. Um, the last two days I have literally just been at work, so nothing exciting has happened. So this morning I've just had my hair dyed, freshened up, I was super faded, so um, I'm growing my undercut out, so it's this weird awkward length at the minute, so we're kind of gradually chopping the top bit a little bit shorter to blend in with it, and then once it's grown out a bit more I might just do a whole new style, but I'm lovely and red again, ready for a weekend away, I'm off to Rutherglen for the weekend this weekend, and then next Monday I have my Australian citizenship ceremony, which I'm really excited about, so I've been living in Australia for oh, 11 and a half, nearly 12 years, been a permanent resident and um, finally put my citizenship application in back in February and it all becomes official next Monday so I've got fresh hair for that too. Right now I'm off to Spotlight to go and buy some red silk because um, this afternoon I have to make a little flower brooch for a client. So this afternoon I'm making this red rose silk flower for my client. So when I got home yesterday, first of all I discovered that um, Spotlight doesn't sell silk dupion anymore, so I rummaged through my boxes in the garage and I found some that was actually already stiffened as well from when I used to make flowers a lot. And I made this little prototype one. So originally I had some bigger petals around the edge, but it was just too big. So I cut them off and sent a picture to my client and she liked it this size. But I'm actually going to add a fifth petal around the edge and then these petals in the middle. So that was my little prototype, just to practice because it's been a while since I've done this. Now my client has an heirloom brooch that she wants to use in the middle of the flower. So I've created this base that I'm going to glue my petals onto. And it's got the, the brooch back on one side. And then on this side I've made like a tiny little loop which the brooch back can go under. So <laughs> hopefully this will work. So then I'm going to make my petals fix them around the edge and then she should be able to put her brooch in and out just through that tiny little gap. I didn't want to leave it too loose so the brooch isn't flapping around so hopefully that will be tight enough for the brooch to sit neatly in the centre of the flower. So the next thing I need to do is I've cut all my petals so I've got five at that size, four at that size and four at that size. So the next thing I need to do is to shape my petals. So to do that, I use a flame in this little burner, just with some methylated spirit. I use a sandbag, and then I use these brass tools which are heated up. So basically it's like ironing, but you're ironing things into shapes instead of ironing things flat. So these brass tools get heated up, and then they're used to shape the petals into little rose petals. So I'm gonna use the big ball, and then I'm going to use this one to sort of turn the edges of the petals back. So first thing I need to do is light my burner and then get heating up with the tools. And then I use them to shape the petals. Then once the petals are all shaped, then I can put everything together.
So here's our finished rose. I'm uh, really pleased with how it's come out. I love it in the silk satin. It's actually a little bit darker than it looks on the camera here. So it's quite open because I've left the gap for the brooch to go in the middle. And I've just left this little raised tunnel of satin for the pin of the brooch to go through it. So it should be good for my client to put the brooch in and out because it's something she wants to wear separately as well. And I guess it means you can change it up and use different things in the middle as well. I love how the silk satins turned out in these petals. I'm going to have to get some more of that and do some silk satin roses, I think. And I've forgotten how much I love making silk flowers. So, yeah, I'm going to gonna do some more of these. Um, if you want to see a tutorial, let me know. And I'll film a little tutorial or just a little... You can watch me make a full rose because they look beautiful. I do love making those. So I will do some more of those and put them on some headpieces, maybe. Morning. It's Saturday morning and we are in beautiful Rutherglen in Victoria this weekend and we're about to go wine tasting. Uh, so you can see the view from the deck of the house that we rented. We can see all the vines off into the distance there. It's super windy though. I've got my hairspray so this is going to go all over the place. Uh, winery one is Warrabilla Wines. We really love the reds here. I've bought some Zinfandel and some Durif and they've got a beautiful Durif port as well. So I've got a couple of bottles of that too. So um, back in the car next and on to the next one. We are at All Saints Winery now. And gluten free. Sunday in Rutherglen. We're heading home today, but we're going to stop and see a few more things on chocolate the way. Um, we're going factory. to the chocolate and whiskey factory, but right now we are at a giant water tower that looks like a wine bottle. Yep. 